For love, she down with that boy. She said ain't no pulling up. Meet her at the pulpit. She ain't tryna play no games. She think our f is the same. And if you not on that forever shit, you can stay in your lane. I'm wondering why, why, why she ain't got the patience. She be like bye, bye, bye. And I know she don't think twice if it's something she don't like. She gon' let you know about it She give her all and that's the problem Now a nigga like me gotta come and solve She said if I want that pussy I'm gon' have to beg that Ain't no freebies Yeah, she freaky But you gotta pass test She got I want it I can own it She hit it with the shot clock Shot clock Whoa. You better not waste her time. Only got one good time. You better blow. Hi, today's the next day. Yesterday I got home so late. I didn't have the chance to show you guys the things that I got. Hopefully, I'll show you guys once I get home the things that I got. I don't really get much. So I got this jumper with the tracksuit. I really like it, it's really comfortable. I think I might get him in two more colors. I only got one set. I might get two more set. They had a white one and a gray one and a brown one as well, I think. I really like it. But anyways, right now, guys, it's 10 o'clock. I just dropped the kids off to school. And yeah, so today we've got hair appointments. Um, I really want to get my hair done. I haven't had my hair done in ages. And I want to get my eyebrows done. Do you know what the problem is? Yeah, it's only one lady that knows how to do my eyebrows properly. She's literally like... Uh, an hour away from where I live but she does my eyebrows so good sometimes I would let other people do my eyebrow but when they do it they never do it properly like I just don't like it but anyways I'm gonna get my head on today I'm gonna do my eyebrow and I'm actually really really tired I only had five hours sleep last night Malia she did not want to go sleep I normally put the kids to bed around eight but yesterday they were really tired so after school they went to bed like seven after 10 p.m. she thought she literally had a nap and around 1 a.m she was literally like fresh when i said fresh girls i mean fresh she did not want to go sleep so i just stayed up with her till 3 a.m but she kept me up all night i was in and out sleep i have a headache when i dropped them off to school i quickly rushed back home i took a shower i had some breakfast had some coffee and then i've got some water right next to me so that kind of made me feel better so if you feel like shit just go take a shower trust me you're gonna feel 10 times better normally if i'm proper tired after i drop the kids off school I like to take like two hour nap but it really depends on my mood or i will just go straight to the gym today we're not going to the gym and we're not taking a nap i've got a hair appointment so let's get to that let me just tell you guys what i'm gonna do with my hair today i need to color my hair and then i'm gonna cut my split ends well i have a bit of a split ends my hair has been growing quite fast these days which i'm really happy about <laughs> got my hair done i've been going to the just for years but lately i feel like like when i come to him he doesn't really give me the attention that he used to because it's like he's very busy but today he came through because i told him like listen if you're not gonna do my hair the way you used to then don't even try to take my money he was just like what were you talking about he cut it really good he literally made sure that i was proper satisfied before i left today but i really love what he does about it like i'm really feeling myself you know once you get your hair done you don't even want to like mess up your hair like i was gonna go to the gym i just got my hair done I don't want to go to the gym and I don't want to go to the gym tomorrow. What have I done? Why can my hair not always look like this? I'm just going to go home. I've got some content to record and also I need to cook and pick up the kids from school. Yeah, right now it's like two. I quickly got my eyebrows done. I still got the pimple. The pimple's still sticking out. Okay, this pimple, I don't know why it doesn't want to go. It just wants to stay on my face. I don't know. Right now it's just my new best friend, okay? And then I've done a bit of shopping as well. I just quickly went to... The turkey shop i basically just picked up some mint me and some kidney i'm really craving for some kidney for some reason so i really want to make that for me and my kids tomorrow for breakfast and also i grabbed some like ash i think it's called ash correct me if i'm wrong but yeah but i got some ash anyway it just reminds me of my childhood because i used to eat these a lot back when i was in denmark 
because I don't know it's like Turkish people Arab people like you know the people from the Middle East and Turkish people they just love eating fish I was born in Denmark and I grew up with a lot of like you know just Turkish people I'm just waiting for my phone to be charged my battery was super low let me just see also I got these this Turkish crisp like my son loved these like I think you're going to get this actually from a Turkish shop it has a bit of lime in there as well so I just like how it's spicy and then you can taste the lime it's really nice but it's a bit spicy though so I got that and then I just got some meat and some salami and some chicken breast and I got myself a little snack because I only had breakfast today and right now it's like lunch time so I got myself this breakfast bowl just to snack on really because I'm kind of hungry and I need to drive back home I've got like an hour drive to do. I'm waiting for my friend to turn back home. My battery died when I was in the Hager car. Thank God I had a charger in my car because if I didn't, how am I going to get home? <laughs> I'm going to have to do that. Go back in the street and start begging for a charger. I hate it. Don't think about me. I don't care where I'm at. If my battery dies, I'm gonna beg for that charger. Uh, you can't literally not do anything without your phone being on, you know? But these are so good. I used to eat them a lot back in the day when I used to go to college. But I feel like back in the day, I, I really think I used to on the eat because I would literally just have this and coffee for breakfast, thinking like that has a lot of calories. And this is like a snack to think about. I was like very skinny back in the day. I think I was the smallest before I had my kids. I never really went back to like my original size. But then again, I did lose a lot of weight. I don't ever want to be that skinny again because to think about it, I just wasn't really happy when I was that skinny. I was basically starving myself, okay? I could literally not eat anything. Also, I was supposed to get my nails done. Um, I don't have enough time. I'm probably gonna get my nails done tomorrow because right now I'm gonna just drive home and pick up the kids, cook for them, and then put them to bed. You know, it's the same thing every day, okay? The routine is kind of the same unless it's the weekend. Probably just gonna get my nails done tomorrow. I'm gonna go now, okay? So, bye. Hi guys, today's the next day. By the way, I've got Malia in the bag. Malia, say hi. And if you guys are wondering why she's not in the car seat, because I'm not driving yet. I'm just waiting for her dad to bring her car seat. Don't think I'm driving my daughter around with no car seat. It's Mindy's birthday today. She just sent three. My girl's getting big. We're just gonna do something, you know, just us four, just something intimate. So we got her like a little cake, and then we're just gonna cut that, you know, sing for her. And then right now, I'm gonna take Mindy with me. We're just gonna have like a little self care girl day, just me and her. And I'm getting basically my nails done. So I was just like, why not take Mindy with me? Even though she's not gonna get no acrylic, but I just thought. Why not maybe make her get her nails done? Maybe she could get a little... I don't know. Maybe she could get a little glitter on her finger, you know? So me and her together, we're going to get our nails done. So I need to basically get my nails done. As you guys can see, like... Yeah. I was planning on doing, like, a party for her, guys. Unfortunately, it's not really going to happen this year. Because I was going to get a party planner, but it was way over the budget. So instead, we're just going to do her a big party next year. And to be honest, my husband, he doesn't really like spending and wasting money on parties he just thinks it's a waste of money he just said it's just about if we maybe take a shopping or maybe go on a family holiday i still want to do something with my close friends and family so on saturday me and my family and my friends like we're just gonna go to this jumping place it's like a trampoline jumping place where the kids play at i'm gonna decorate it there it's not like a party but it's kind of like a party if you know what i mean but you guys will see it anyway so it's just gonna be something small and intimate with me and my family and friends I'm gonna do that on saturday but today we're just gonna be a little self-care day for me and malia and we're just gonna get something to eat as well i've already done like her shopping for her she's wearing this beautiful like blue deal dress that i really liked before the party i'm gonna have to take her to the hairdresser i really want her to get her head i don't know what to do with the hair guys but i really want her hair to look cute when she turned one I pissed her a her earrings just fell off I didn't really try to put it back on because I just thought like what's the point because you know she's a baby so she kept in, like taking it out so I didn't want the ear to get infected so basically her ear is now closed so I really want to like uh, take her to the hairdresser and do her hair for her and then repiss her ear if I could get time I don't know if I do have enough time but I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to wake up super early tomorrow and also I need to collect the balloons and the cake 
<sighs> anyway, there's just so much to do. I need to go to Cafe Nero as well to get myself a nice coffee because we're not doing um, Starbucks and Costa, like I said. I'm not really gonna get anything from a company who support genocide anyways. I've been trying some new coffee shops in Central. I took my mom actually the other day, but I was not vlogging. You guys need to try it. The place is called Shot London. And when I say it's such a bougie coffee place, they've got the best cake there, amazing coffees there. My favorite cake on the menu, the almond coconut bake cake. Oh my God, it is so, good and i say you guys my mom she loved this so much she's like can i get another cake she ordered two cake and i was like mm, mom we're not trying to like, increase the sugar level like i love almond cakes but this had like little coconut kick to it it was just it was beautiful it's like a luxury coffee shop but it's not even that expensive we ordered like two free coffees and we ordered like three cake and it was like 25 pound in total have you guys ever seen a security guard outside a coffee shop if you guys are around central try the shot london coffee shop you guys will love it because since we're not really drinking from starbucks and costa we literally need to hunt for other coffee shops like i said you guys need to try this coffee place and also if you guys into matcha the place is called blanke and it's based in, in oxford circus as well they got the best matcha there when i went there i just really loved the matcha it was beautiful got the blueberry ice matcha with oat milk 10 out of 10. so if you guys are looking for a nice matcha place go to blanke if you guys are looking for a very rich luxury 10 out of 10 coffee shop and you won't be disappointed the aesthetic is 10 the coffee is 10 the service by the way is 10 out of 10 go to shop london you won't be disappointed okay i'll just talk to you guys when i'm at the another place okay bye i am so tired today i don't even know how i ended the vlog yesterday I'm never ever gonna take me to another shop you know we tried to have a little girls there out she was causing so much problem didn't even end up showing you guys how my nails look focus okay so this is how my nails look yes yeah, so i just did like a gold design and we went to the nail shop and malia she refused to get her nails done and imagine when i got there i literally forgot to bring her buggy because i parked the car somewhere far so i had to walk for like eight minutes to the town girl when i tell you it was so cold it started to get cold okay and then she refused to walk she wanted me to literally hold and pick up the whole time and then i literally had to run to um sainsbury's and buy her some gloves because her fingers started to get super cold when i'm going to the nail shop she was causing a lot of see she was crying she was just throwing her fit just like to throw her fit if she doesn't get her nap anyways we ended up having a good time and i feel like i'm about to get sick oh ew it's like i'm not really coughing or anything like that and i'm not sneezing but i've got like a sore throat right now it's 9 30 got a blitz class around 10 15. i actually haven't worked out this much this week because i had so much stuff that i basically needed to get done i'm just rushing right now to the gym I need to get a camera hold on this is not even safe uh, but anyways i'm gonna go now and i'll just talk to you guys when i'm basically back from the gym okay peace out look at my hair my hair's all freezed up now from all that sweat i need to take a shower but before i do that i quickly need to cook Dinner for the kids. We get the meat out of the kitchen. Let me just quickly just wash my hand. Let me just tell you guys exactly what I'm doing right now. I need to basically make some lasagna for the kids today before Billy comes back from school and Malia she's with her dad. She's just in the living room right now. Look how frozen the meat. I even forgot to take the meat out of the freezer today. This energy drink only has 63 calories. I don't really like drinking too much energy drink. I don't really think it's good to rely on them. I'm going to go to co op, buy some groceries. I'm going to make lasagna and I'm going to make some breakfast for myself. Right now it's like almost one o'clock and I have not eaten anything. The only thing I had the whole day was this energy drink and some water. Went to the gym, didn't eat nothing, and I'm not even feeling well. Like, I only burned like 400 calories today at the gym. I completed the blaze class, that's all I did. And usually after the blaze class, I like to jump on the stairmaster or do other workouts. I have time to do it because I'm not feeling well today. Because when you're a mom, you don't ever have time to get sick. Let me just show you guys the things that I got from co-op. So I basically bought some tomato, some fresh coriander, some red onions. I love using this tomato sauce for my lasagna. I got this creamy and base for my lasagna. I actually want to learn how to make creamy base from scratch. Even though I do make my lasagna from scratch, you know what I mean? Then I got some avocado 
that's just for tomorrow then i got some mozzarella cheese for my lasagna then i got sourdough bread i love this seeded sourdough bread this is literally like my favorite brand and it's super super healthy sometimes if you're someone who's craving for bread i think you should try to get the sourdough bread i got some banana and then i got some strawberry because and then here i've got some greek yogurt then i got some celery for tomorrow then i've got the ginger shot because i'm not feeling well so i'm gonna take a shot and then i got some lemon that's literally all i've got guys because we literally have no groceries in the morning today let me even try to get the blender out because i'm gonna try and blend my sauce at the shower i'm wearing my body i had so much phone calls to make in the morning leah she goes like nursery maybe like 10 hours a week so i kind of want to like increase her hours a bit more because she's turned three i don't know some parents don't really like taking their kids to nursery but i just think for me it's all about finding the right nursery this nursery that she goes to they're really good they're very nice like i love the stuff there let me just quickly wash these she really loves the nursery as well. Hey, Amelia, you wanna look at me? Look at my little toy. She's doing her little party. Give mommy a kiss. Shush. Mm. Mommy's cooking, okay? Mm. She loves to bother me. Yes, I'm cooking. Say hi. Hi. Good girl. Hi. I'm never taking her to an office hi. ever again. Hi. Hi. Come. Hi. You wanna cook with me? Let me get her little chair. You need to teach her from a young age. How to cook? Ha <laughs> ha. After vlog to be honest at this point I'm really stressed out right now and I'm really nervous because I really want to get her a way pissed um, but I don't know I called someone who do a pissing they basically said they don't really do um, three year olds they do from six years and above so I was like okay damn we're gonna see my sister nurse's hairdress for those kids so I'm gonna drive to my mom's house now and to pick her up and just see what they say let me just put my coat in the bag it's like 151. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it, but hopefully they can. I don't really have any appointment book. We're gonna try to do her hair and try to repeat her ear. I'll just talk to you guys anyways once I'm there because right now I'm really stressed out and I'm running late. Take up some space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're too far away. Hi guys. We ended up doing our hair yesterday and then I just added these little pins. Did you go hit your pussy yesterday? Okay, you can put your hair pin in there. Okay, you can take these two, okay? Anyways, let me just put the camera up here. Our birth was literally a few days ago, but we're celebrating it today because, you know, family, friends, everyone was busy. I got this grey knitty dress from H&M. It's kind of like itchy, but... Mm. It's making me a bit hot, but okay. This is basically what I'm wearing, and I did a full face of makeup today. I've not done a full face in a month. Let me just put my accessories on. Okay. Need to get my watch. Melia, are you packing as well? When do you have kids? They just copy you, honestly. Look at Melia. She literally copies her mommy. You like to copy your mommy? Huh? Leah, 
What are you doing up there? Really looks so cute today. Oh, that's my baby. Yesterday like, when I got home, I was so, so, so tired. So I just couldn't even pick up the camera. So she ended up getting her hair done. Yesterday, she was so good. And I think what really helped was she took a nap while I was driving up there. Because it was a really long drive. So she was napping the whole time. And as soon as she woke up, she was in a really good mood. Like sometimes, guys, if you want to take your toddler out, don't ever take a toddler out if they have not had a nap. Because when they don't have a nap, they're just going to drive you crazy. She had a nap and then... It was easy. Then I got her the gold um, earring from Claire's and that was like 53 pounds. They had a silver one. The silver one was like 30 pounds, but what's the point? It might get infected. And then we did her hair. The woman, she was almost about to close and I was just like, please, can you do what those hair's about there? It was nice anyway. I paid like 20 pounds. That's not bad, right? For a kiss price. Then I went to the beauty shop and I just got her some hairbands. Just added that into her hair. I need to learn how to do her like kids hairstyles which means i need to start getting on tiktok we're basically heading to um burn cars they've got this place where it's called like flip out like for the kids it's like a jumper play basically we're going there before we go there we're gonna have to go pick up the k and i ordered her little moment okay cool i can't wait yeah i'm not really doing like a big party just gonna be like close friends close family very like intimate thing i'd rather do a big big party for them when they actually know what's happening and when they can actually choose <laughs> they the cool you okay baba okay tell me if she's not my twin are you not my twin Mom, this. This. we're gonna go now i'll just talk to you guys when we get in the car okay do this okay bye guys <laughs> She's so nice. She made some goodie bags for everyone. This is so sweet. 